Hi, welcome back. Jared Littner, Tackle Warehouse Pro. And this week we're going to continue to talk about the season recap, and we're going to start off with Lake Gunnersville, where Skeet Reese dominated once again. Um, you know, he's had a really good past, past few tournaments there when we've been there with the elites. And, uh, you know, when those fish get outside, post-spawn, they're on the creek channel bends, um, they're on islands, you know, anything out off the bank. So you're kind of structure fishing in a crankbait, a jig, and a big worm is the best way to catch those fish that are done spawning. And, uh, you know, Skeet kind of combined two different ways of fishing that lake. He would start out on the main river and basically he was throwing a DT Rapala 16 um, in shad patterns, you know, making real long casts, targeting channel, creek channel bends or shell beds, you know, on hard spots. And those fish were just uh, big giant wolf packs of them. I mean, I overheard him saying, you know, he'd get on one spot and catch fish after fish after fish until, you know, he pretty much got worn out and then he'd have three or four other spots. But basically what he was doing after that is he'd run down to uh, main lake riprap banks where even if they weren't pulling water, just because of how big the lake is and any kind of little breeze, it would funnel you know, the bait fish and everything, it would almost produce its own current going through these little blow throughs. And so he was also throwing this BDS uh, three or four foot diving crankbaits around those type of areas, fishing kind of shallow. And um, he was catching some really good quality fish. When the crankbait thing kind of slowed down, he was just throwing a big old homemade mop jig, kind of like this Buckeye one, and uh, with, a, with a big chunk trailer on it. And um, really, you know, just fishing fishing those same spots with the crankbait with a jig kind of slowing down and he picked off some really good quality fish that last day. Um, at Gunnersville, I was, I, I don't really like fishing outside, but over the years I've kind of gotten accustomed to it. And actually the first day of the van, I caught one of the biggest fish I've ever caught on a Carolina rig. And I was throwing this mag zoom trick worm, blue flake. And, you know, basically just fishing a shell bed way out in the middle of the lake that I found. And uh, it was a really good spot kind of got a lot of boat pressure and the fish left that area or got too beat up. So I kind of had a backup deal going on where I was, I was basically flipping three eighths ounce uh, tungsten weights. And I was throwing a, a paycheck punch skirt with a Berkeley chigger craw on it, you know, around little sparse isolated grass clumps, docks, laydowns, anything that was on the stretch of bank and just making multiple passes through it. When I, I'd turn right back around after I'd make a couple passes and I would just flip this reaction 420 tube, um, you know, and I was getting some really good bites. I think I had three days in a row where I had 20 to 21 and a half pounds off the same stretch. So there was a bunch of fish there. Obviously I wasn't on the right fish to win, but I had a really good tournament. I think I ended up in the top 20, um, but that was a really fun tournament to fish. Then we went, moved over to Clark's Hill. Jason Williamson, hometown favorite, he ended up winning. It's very hard to win on your home lake. And uh, basically he had, he had a multitude of things going on. He was sight fishing as well as uh, throwing, a, uh, throwing a spot remover jig head, a zoom seven inch trick worm. And you know, he used this when the fish kind of got, you know, a little pressure or really, really tough. There was periods of the day when they just wouldn't bite because of the wind or too much boat pressure or whatever. Um, but his primary thing to catch his big fish was throwing this Buckeye football, football jig with a zoom chunk on it. And, you know, I mean, day three, I think he caught a seven, seven pound fish and really vaulted him into the winning position. Around the schooling fish, he was throwing the zoom swimming super fluke in, in the white pearl color uh, with a four-aught trocar worm hook. And, you know, basically that's a really good technique at Clark's Hills, everybody, everybody knows. Um, you know, so I mean, my hat's off to him. He did really well, won the event. Um, I was pretty fortunate, you know, in, in my free fish. One day at the hotel, um, I got this prototype samples of the one made by Paycheck Baits. A good friend of mine, Bub Tosh, overnighted them to us because everybody knows that Clark's Hill post spawn is a blue back time of year. And, um, you know, everybody out there is throwing the big pencil poppers. And these are unique in that. I mean, this bait walks like no other bait. I mean, it has a loud rattle in it. Um, it's got bigger hooks on it than, you know, than most standard baits come with. But the cool thing about it is you can work this thing really fast over a foot and a half, two foot chop, and the hooks won't, you know, tangle up on each other, and the bait still walks back and forth, I mean, just like it should. So I was really excited to throw this. I, I did have some really good bites on it during the tournament. I caught a couple big ones on it during practice, so 
you know, if we go back there, I'm really excited about throwing this again. Um, my primary thing also was, you know, just throwing a Zoom regular fluke, you know, and smoking shad color. And basically, I was throwing on a double rig fluke, and I was throwing it out, making real long casts on 15 pound fluorocarbon, and just working it really, really fast and making it seem like a little school of shads getting pushed around and, and fish were coming up and eating it. When there wasn't as much activity, I found that, you know, uh, usually, you know, you can get away with throwing a jig there quite a bit, but the lake was kind of down and, and there wasn't as much, you know, structure in the water. Um, I would much rather throw a jig, and I did catch a couple, but it wasn't my primary thing. Basically drop shotting, and the first time I've ever split shot in a tournament, but that's the way how slow those fish wanted the presentation. Just a wacky crawler. Um, I was throwing a watermelon candy, wacky crawler, power worm. And basically just throwing it out there and kind of dead sticking it back in the same areas you're you're trying to target these schooling fish when they're not when they're not blowing up on the bait or pushing the bait around, you know that's the best way I found to catch them. So um, it was a really fun event. You know, Clark's Hill's always been a great lake, and and um, you know looking forward to going back. Uh, check back next week. We're going to talk about Kentucky Lake and Fort Gibson.